occasionally get asked how you calculate the shrinkage of your, or not how you calculate the shrinkage of your clay. If you know the shrinkage of your clay, how you calculate what size to throw at. Um, so if you know what size you want something to be when it's fired, how big do you have to throw it to reach that size? Um, and there are some calculators to do it online, but I thought I'd just explain while throwing um, how you do the, the calculation, just so you know. And the reason it's relevant for me today is that I've bought some cork lids, really chunky for some reason, but it's quite quite nice. So they're, they're 10 centimetres across there, 9.5 centimetres across there, so I need uh, a rim that is pretty much exactly, you want something like 9.8 centimetres, because um, they don't taper as much as I was hoping they did. So if it was exactly 10, then it would go all the way in, and if it's 9.5, it won't go in at all. So I need to be relatively precise with that. Um, and I'm not entirely sure how much clay it's going to need, but I'm using 500 grams. So the way you calculate the shrinkage of clay is actually quite simple, but it sounds like a bit of a headache when explaining it. Um, so the number that your manufacturer or supplier will give you is generally something in the region of 10 to 15% shrinkage. And what that means is that if you threw something to, say your shrinkage was 10%, if you threw something to 10 centimeters, it would shrink 10% of that, which is one centimeter. So the fired size would be nine centimeters. So you can work backwards from it very easily in that by, they give you the shrinkage percent, which means that the fired size is 100% minus the shrinkage percent. So in this case, 90%. So you've got 100% minus 10% is 90%. And all you've got to do is divide the final size by 90%. And the way, obviously when you're calculating something like that, if you divide by a number less than one, which 90% is, because it's 0.9. Um, so if you just divide by a number less than one, your number gets bigger rather than smaller, even though you're dividing. So if you divide by 100% minus your shrinkage percent, which you can convert to decimal if you want. I generally do, but that's just 0 point something. So in this case, it would be 0 0.9. My clay is 12.5% shrinkage, so it's 0 0.875. Um, you just stick that into a calculator or into Google, and it will tell you what size you need to throw to. So for me, 10 centimeters divided by 0.875, or divided by 87.5%, um, gives me 11.42. So if I throw this to pretty much spot on 11 centimeters, or 11.1 centimeters, then I know that lid should fit more or less exactly. Just checked it there, and it was just under, so with any luck, that will be pretty close. That is 10.7. So I will get the rest of it with a rig on the final smoothing. And this is also good if you're going to do travel mugs, that's also how you calculate the shrinkage. Uh, and you want to always go on the narrow side and expand out to the final measurement rather than if you throw it too big, it's very hard to come back in neatly. Whereas what I can do is I can smooth the outside with the rib and just expand it as I do. I don't think I went out much there at all, so I won't have quite got it. 
No, I didn't. But you can keep going out. Like, you can always add more, but it's hard to take away. Same principle applies. You can keep easing it gently out. But to colour in is much less convenient. And actually what I might do, so that is bang on 11, and then I'm going to taper that slightly. So what I'll do is just to make doubly sure. Rather than trying to hit it at one point, I'll give a larger point of contact. And in theory, I don't know in a few days, that'll shrink down so that the lid fits pretty much exactly. I'll throw another one, so I've got two tests, um, and I'll post, I'll definitely post to Instagram, and I'll, I'll try and remember to post on YouTube as well, probably just include it at the start of a different video. But yeah, so I'll post the formula written out in the text for the post, because it might not have made sense as I was explaining it. But just to recap, it is 100% minus your clay shrinkage gives you the fired size. So 100% minus 12.5% gives you 87.5%. So the final size is 87.5%. And knowing that, you can go from the final size to the thrown size by dividing by 87.5% or 0.875. Right, it's been fired. This is white impulse, uh, one drip that's actually gone past the bottom, and then that is because I've got my drip catches. See the previous video, um, I think I can just sand that back. But the relevant point is lid fit, pretty much exactly what I was going for. So it's halfway, well, a little more than halfway in, but it's a good tight fit without going so far in that you can't lift it off or um, not fitting at all. So, thankfully, proving the point of the throwing video that um, if you know your clay shrinkage, which the manufacturer will give you, and then you can obviously verify like this, if you know the shrinkage of the clay and you know your finished size, you can work backwards to, to work out what size to throw it and you should get a good fit.